Betty Kirkpatrick in. We just heard Dr. John's Revolution coming off lockdown. Dr. John set to play tonight at the Snowy Range Music Festival, as is Tommy Castro. Bobby Rush in this morning, too. He'll play Saturday night, and that's at the Albany County Fairgrounds in Laramie. I uh, wanted to ask uh, Mac, uh, one of the, I got to see you uh, this past May in Philadelphia, and one of the things I remember most is uh, you made a good point uh, about don't forget to give props to your elders and, and to people around you all the time, and that really stuck with me, and I appreciate that. Hey, if we don't give props, Listen, they, 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 we we jiving, because it's important more than anything else is to give our elders, even our ancestors that ain't here no more. You give them props because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. You know, speaking about that, because I'm from Louisiana, I, I got to talk. Well, I get tears in my eyes when you talk about a situation where we come from. Someone asked me to interview some well, Bible Rush. Uh, what you think about the, what the oil spill did? Well, first of all, did you, did you actually had a rehearsal to, to stop the pipe up in case it break? Because when we was in school, that was a march that you rehearse up in case it be a fire. So she did the same thing. Same thing I would told him again, gentlemen. I said, well, I'm a country boy. My dad raised hog, cow, chicken, and everything. But when he raised hog, the, the little mother hog nursed the little pigs. But you ever notice that? Bar hog had tits too, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't impart any wisdom like that on well, you. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I like to sit back and listen to these guys. You're, you're a heck of a player. You, you started in the, in the Bay Area, you toured nationally, and then formed your own band. Uh, one of the top drawing blues artists, uh, touring relentlessly, known as one of the hardest working blues men out there. Uh, you've won several awards, uh, 2010 Blues Music Award for Contemporary Blues Album of the Year with Hard Believer, hooked up with John Porter. Have you worked with him, that producer, before? He's worked with all kinds of folks. John's great. Yeah, we did a couple records together. And, uh, you know, he just, he just knows how to, he, he knows how to uh, work with a band in the studio and, you know, help me try to get the, you know, the best out of me uh, performance-wise and stuff. But then he takes that stuff home. Uh, and he really knows what to do with that stuff. Have you give him the raw tracks? Uh, to, he just is a, he's brilliant, and so so I give him a lot of credit for the the, the good sound of that. That and you album. got to record that in your hometown. Is it San? Yeah, Fe yeah. I guess it did. That's pretty good. San Rafael, Yeah, I I I think you know I, I planned it that way because <laughs> I don't want to be late to the studio. I'm, I'm, I'm you know when we're supposed to meet up. A lot of times I'm the. Uh, Supposedly the boss, and, and uh, yeah. it doesn't look good if I show up late. But man, I, I have a tendency to run a little late, so I, well, I, I enjoy being able to record right there uh, in my town. But let me say before you go, off, Carl, I want to thank Carl as my personal friend and for many things that we've done together. We've done a new album together. It'll be out shortly. You'll be hearing more about that. But the Sony Rainey's uh, music festival is five years old. Mesa Gray is going to be there, and we'll get to meet her. And all the other guys we're not mentioned on the show because they're as, as important as anybody else's on the show. Thank you for letting me be a part of this family. And thank you for what you have done, My what you're pleasure. doing, thank you. what you plan to do because people like you keep us alive because when for you, people would know what we do. And thank you for what you do. You are most appreciated. We want to thank our, our uh, listeners and our members and folks that are come out. They're going to have a good time. Thank you. No doubt. And we'll go out with this one. Tommy Castro from Hard Believer. What's going to be?